All right, this is a, another video about my ex that I met yesterday. It's about keeping someone at arm's length. Saying whatever you want to say to keep the other person in your life, but not to get close to them because you're protecting yourself or whatever reason you have. You know, this is, I just saw this on Scandal, the third season, you know, with the President Grant and uh, the, uh, the girl he's having an affair with. Uh, why can't I remember her name? I've watched, I've watched it so many times. But, um, yeah, this is not good for me. It's not good. You know, again, like I said, if someone wants me, they, you know, they will make the effort, you know, not to protect themselves, they have to protect themselves, whatever their stupid excuses are, you know, and he's telling me that I should go and find other people, you know, but why the hell do you come? I'm not going to be your friend, I said that. You know? So it, it's very hard. I have to meet other people. I realized that it was all, you know, backhanded shit yesterday. And saying that I don't, because I don't get what I want, you know. Yeah. That I need love from someone, that I need friends. Sure, I need friends, of course. But not you. <laughs> You're not a friend. You're not coming under the guise of being a friend. We're not friends. That's not a, fr that's not a healthy thing, you know? So, I just have to get stronger with that and keep going. I'm not going to put up with that shit, you know? You love me for me, and you man up, or you fuck off. I'm tired of that shit. Manipulation again. Well, then again, I could be manipulating. You know. I have to be strong again. It's it's really tough when everyone you you encounter. has one, you know, I allow people like that into my life. So it's obviously me. And it's like, you know, being punished for making a mistake, damned if I do, damned if I don't type thing, right? No. Forgiveness, compassion, letting me go properly. He had the nerve to tell me that I was the only person he's ever kissed after breaking up. Fuck you. Really? Tired of bullshit like that. You don't lead me on like that. And that's exactly, he's an Aries, you know, and I got that from someone else too, who's an Aries. All these Aries who do that shit.
So there you go. My intention for inviting them over was to talk and to reconcile. And he was clear that it was not to reconcile. Then why come? You're over the hurt and all that stuff, so you you automatically assume that we're no good for each other. Then don't come. Okay, so you see I'm pretty angry right now. I guess that those are the stages, you know, you go through hurt. Denial, anger, yada, yada, yada. So. It's not the first time I've gone through that. It just is difficult. You keep going through that. Until you learn your lesson. Deal with people who treat you nicely. You know, not for not excessive, you know, to smother you and then to kind of back you back off when you know, when you don't serve a purpose to them, you know. he was calling all the time, all the time, and now he doesn't. It has to be me that initiates it. Terrible. Hellish. Pure evil, you know. So I'm almost finished. Folding up the laundry, then I gotta get out to go to the Night Nation run or walk. I'm putting on my regular shoes with holes in it. I'm bringing a couple of bananas and uh, in a plastic bag so I can throw it out. And that's it. I know I'm not the only one who's alone. I mean, so many YouTubers are alone, you know, and they get a lot of fulfillment talking to the camera. Someone who doesn't say, talk back, you know. Oh. So, at least I have that. make the best of it. And keep myself healthy, active, because as soon as I'm incapacitated, I'm fucked. Gotta learn how to, you know.
as long as I can take care of myself and be agile and autonomous, that's, that's the best thing, that's the most important. Because you never know when it ends.